Welcome to Geography Samachiv Syllabus of Tamil Nadu. Class 8 Geography, Term 2. Migration and Urbanization, Part 1. What is migration? In lower classes, you would have studied about the migration of animals and birds. And humans also, right from the early history, migrate from place to place. Migration is nothing but moving from one place to another place. Migration is the permanent movement of persons from one geographical location or region to another. In this lesson, we'll be learning about human migration. Migration has been defined differently by different experts. In general, migration is defined as the permanent or semi-permanent change of residence of an individual or group of people over a significant distance. So the term migration refers to the movement of people from one place to another. For example, shifting your house from one area to another area within the same town limit is not a migration. Instead, you are moving away from a particular place of living to another area of living to the nearby town, city, or next state, or next country, other state, or other country. It is called as migration. United Nations Organization defines migration as migration is a form of geographical mobility of population between a geographical unit to another, generally involving a permanent change of residence. There are 272 million international migrants in the world. That's over three in every hundred people. Human migration. One of the most important aspects of social science is human migration. It has maintained a close relation with mankind from its earliest stage. Migration is one of the most important dynamic human activities from the very beginning of human life. During the early days, people moved from one place to another in search of food. When most of the people ceased to live in forests and adopted civilized life, they develop relationship with domesticated animals and fertile land. We all know that early man was a nomad. He led a nomadic life and he was a hunter and food gatherer. So he was always roaming about in search of food from one place to another place. And also he wanted to protect himself from wild animals and nature. And later he started to settle down near the river valleys and he started living with his friends, families. And he st started leading a settled life. As a result, mobility of mankind changed considerably. They almost left the nomadic life and started to live in permanent settlements. At this stage, people continued to move from one region to another in search of fertile land for cultivation. Afterwards, the nature of mobility frequently changed over a period of time. Factors of migration. There are a number of factors which are responsible for the migration of human population. These factors can be grouped under the heads of favorable factors and unfavorable factors. The favorable factors which attract people towards a location are called as pull factors. The unfavorable factors are the factors which make the people to leave their place or to move out from a location are called as push factors. So push factor is something that make the people to come out of their place, that is push factor. Pull factor is the factor that attracts the people towards a place. The various causes which are responsible for human migration is categorized under five groups as follows. Ecological or natural causes of migration, economic causes of migration, socio-cultural causes of migration, demographic causes of migration, and political causes of migration. Ecological or natural causes. These causes operate under this category or natural ones. They include volcanic eruption, earthquake, flood, tsunami, drought, etc. These events force the people to leave their native places and settle in new areas. The conditions like the availability of water resources, areas free from hazards. Hazards is nothing but exposure to risk. Pollution, etc. attract the migrants. Economic causes of migration. Economy is, that is, the finance or the money. It is one of the most important causes of human migration from one area to another area. 
Various economic causes determine the level and direction of migration. The availability of fertile agricultural land, employment, better employment opportunities, development of technology are some of the economic causes that attract migration. See, for example, after the blooming of the IT sector in India, especially in places like Chennai, more people started settling in Chennai. And even nowadays, people from Trinalveli, Madurai, Salem, etc., they go to Chennai to study in a very good educational institution. And also some people, elderly people, they, after retirement, they prefer to settle down in cities like Chennai, Bengaluru, or any other place where they can get better and good quality of medical or hospital treatments, hospital facilities. The mass poverty and unemployment force the people to move out from their native places to the places where the better employment opportunities are available. Pull factors and push factors. Natural causes. <laughs> Pull factors of natural causes. Least hazard pro zones. Favorable climate. Abundance of natural resources and minerals. So when there is very less exposure to risk and the climate is very favorable for living, and where they have plenty of natural resources and minerals so that they can get more employment opportunities. People naturally are attracted towards that areas. When the, in an area is more prone to natural hazards like flood, earthquake, or any civil war like that, people tend to come out from of that place. And very often extreme climatic changes, often flood or anything, and crop failure, failure, continuous failure of rainfall, which will lead to drought, etc. They make the people to come out of their place. Economic cause. The main economic cause of pull factor is better and potential employment opportunities. And when there is lack of employment opportunities in your place, naturally people come out of that place. Socio-cultural cause unification and family conflicts. So when, see for example, a son or daughter of a family, he comes out of his place and he goes to a new place, he studies there, get a better employment and he settles down there and earns a lot. And naturally his parents, they will come to his place and they will like to start living with his son or daughter. And family conflicts, when there is a family conflict or misunderstanding between their family members, they prefer to come out of that place. Demographic cause, underpopulation and overpopulation. Political causes, political security, when there is a stable government and people, they believe that the government will take care of them and they will give them necessary protection. They will not prefer to come out of that place. But when there is unrest, civil war and war often, naturally people, they come out of their place. Independence and freedom is very essential. Safety and security concerns, if they are not satisfactory, people will move out of that place. Affordable and accessible urban services, including better healthcare, education, utilities, public utility services, and transport facilities. When there is inadequate or limited urban services, and there is lack of infrastructure, including lack of educational institutions, no better hospital facilities, there is no better transport or drinking water facilities. They become a push factor. Socio-cultural causes of migration. Socio-cultural causes also play some roles in the process of migration. Migration of women after marriage and migration associated with pilgrimage. Pilgrimage is a travel made by a person for a religious purpose is called as pilgrimage or based on the socio-cultural customs. Female migrants outnumber male migrants in Europe, Northern America, Oceania, and Latin America, and the Caribbean, while in Africa and Asia, particularly in Western Asia, the migrants are predominantly men. The demographic causes of migration. In demographic sense, the population composition like age and sex, that is male or female, overpopulation and underpopulation are the major causes of migration. It is well known fact that adults are more migratory than other age groups. Women mostly migrate after their marriage. Generally, overpopulation is considered as a push factor and underpopulation is considered as a pull factor for migration. Political causes. Various political causes like colonization, wars, government policies, etc. have always been playing important role in human migration from time to time. 
birds have been one of the significant causes of migration since ancient time types of migration based on the movement associated with administrative limits the migration have been classified into internal migration and international migration internal migration is nothing but the movement of people within a country is known as internal migration further the internal migration is classified into four categories on the basis of the place of origin and the destination of migrant rural to urban movement of population from rural areas to growing towns and cities mainly for search of employment education recreation facilities that is entertainment facilities is the reason for the movement from rural to urban areas urban to urban migration between one urban center to other search like search of higher salaries see for example a person employed in chennai gets a better employment opportunity or a new job with a better salary in mumbai kolkata or bangalore he naturally moves from chennai to another urban center that is a reason for the urban to urban migration rural to rural migration is driven by fertile land for cultivation and other sociological factors like marriage etc urban to rural migration is the movement from the urban centers to rural areas to get rid of urban problems and returning to native places after retirement from jobs so after retirement people prefer to have a peace life without any stress and they prefer to settle down in a native place and villages and that is the reason for the movement from urban to rural areas so these are the four types of internal migration the other one is international migration the migration that occurs across the national boundaries are known as international migration the next one is the in migration based on the willingness of migrants for migration the people who migrate is called as migrant so based upon their willingness when they voluntarily and willing willfully when they move it is called as voluntary migration when they are forced to move it is called as involuntary migration based on the duration of stay of migrants in the place of destination short term migration in this kind of migration the migrants stay outside only for a short duration before returning to the place of origin the duration may be for from few days to few months you can see in our place also when a new bridge is constructed or a very shop big shopping mall or education institutions or huge buildings are constructed you can see the people from other states stay coming there staying and working for few months and then again they will go to their native place so these are all example for short term migration long term migration it is a kind of migration in which the migrants stay outside at least for few years going to other countries or other places for higher studies or for employment seasonal migration in this type of migration usually a group of people migrate from their native places during a particular season and returns after end of that season and transhumans is an example what is transhumans the people moving from one place to another place with their live stock in search of new pasture land for their cattle and live stock is called as transhumans even the banjaras of rajasthan the nomads they are also they also serve as the example for the seasonal migration consequences of migration migration affects both the areas of origin of migration and the areas of destination demographic consequences it changes age and sex composition of population migration of females after their marriage leads to decline in sex ratio in the source regions and increases sex ratio in the region of destination the migration of male workers in search of job decreases the independent population of the source regions which increases the dependency ratio so in a particular area when the female they move out from their place after the marriage so the number of female of that area naturally decreases and when more men they move out from their place in search of job to other places the independent population and the men population also gets decreased social consequences the migration of people from different regions towards an urban area leads to the formation of plural society it helps the people to come out of narrow minors and people become generous so the plural society see for example we can take delhi and chennai is also now becoming cosmopolitan people from following different culture different practices and different customs they live together in a place and it encourages and it develops a sense of togetherness among the people living there economic consequences 
the migration of more people from overpopulated to underpopulated regions results in imbalance of the resource population ratio in some cases the regions of over and under population may become the regions of optimum population migration may this influence the occupational structure of the population of an area through this it will certainly affect the economy of the regions also brain drain, brain drain is a consequence of migration brain drain refers to the migration in which skilled people from economically backward countries move to developed countries in search of better opportunities for example in 20 or 30 years before we can see many goldsmiths living in our area even for buying small jewelries for our needs we will go to the blacksmith and we will order them to make jewels on the basis of our interest but nowadays we get everything in ready made from the jewelry shops so these goldsmiths they go and settle down in big towns and cities where they can make the jewelry is for the jewelry shops and that results in brain drain and this is also called as backwash effect environmental consequences large scale movement of people from rural to urban areas causes overcrowding in cities and puts heavy pressure on resources it leads to rapid growth of cities the overpopulation in urban areas leads to pollution of air water and soil scarcity of drinking water lack of space for housing traffic congestions and poor drainage are the common environmental problems prevail in urban areas the lack of space for housing and the rising of land costs lead to the formation of slums and in the next class let us see about the meaning of urbanization and also different causes and consequences of urbanization thanks for watching this video give your suggestions in the comment section and kindly subscribe my channel thanks for watching